everyone, it's April here and welcome back to another studio vlog. Um, it is quite late in the week, it's Wednesday, I just started today, the studio vlog. I always feel like at the end of the week when I um, upload my vlog on Monday, I kind of just need like a chill day, just to not, not be on camera or not film or anything. So I started today, but we do have quite a lot going on this week and I'm very excited for the rest of the week. In England it's a bank holiday, which means we have Friday off, which I think somebody's at the door. Beryl! Beryl, what are you doing there? Did you wanna did you wanna come in? Aw, you are so cute. You wanna come on then? Beryl gets uh she gets lonely sometimes, so <laughs> just found her at the door, thought she could just join us while we finish this intro. Um what was it saying? Yes, in England it's a bank holiday. Uh, so which means that we get Friday off. It's actually really strange because normally on bank holidays we get Monday off but we have another long weekend and I've got lots planned. Um, I'm going to, um, I think I was going to work on my website and, sorry, I was going to work on my website and do some more stuff for Etsy so I want to try and get the stickers finished that I started last week and maybe do some prints or something. I want to get to the point where I'm ready to take like the photos and everything for Etsy and do the descriptions. Get all of that up there because I really want to open soon. I've just like got this fire under me and I just want to get going. I just want to do it. So that's my plan but um it is Wednesday right now which means tomorrow I have a video coming out so I actually have to start that. I haven't started it yet but I'll just quickly show you what I've been up to today and then I have to go and film. So um this is what I've been doing. So I've got all my stickers, my plant stickers ready to print and what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, get seven sets over five pages. Uh, I, this is just how it worked out, I wasn't aiming for this but you can see I've got them all kind of like different on each page and that's just how they fit like a puzzle. But something weird is happening. So I saved this out as a, as a PNG, come over into my Cricut and something very strange is happening. So I just upload an image as normal. I got this grey one here just for a test so I don't waste any ink and I go through the process you can see it's going to cut so that's fine. Save it as a print and cut image and then you can see it's right there. See? It's right there. So I insert it and it's invisible. And I don't know if it's just taken hours to load or I've just, I've gone through Photoshop, I've done a whole bunch of troubleshooting there, tested it all out. And the thing is, if I upload an old one, like my art, art supply stickers here, this one loads in, but it's a little bit delayed. So that's why I'm thinking, because it's already in the system, maybe it's faster. And then this invisible one here, it's just not working. So, I've done everything I can apart from print it out, so why not? I'm just going to see if it works. My printer is uh, low on toner, but I think that's fine, because uh, it's invisible. I mean, it sounds like it's doing something. So, here it comes. Oh, it has to print that black border for the Cricut, actually, so it might just be doing that. Here's my beautiful stickers, guys. I went for something a little bit modern, a little bit minimalist. I think you're really going to like the new products. So I've been on Google for ages trying to figure it out and I've done every search I can think of and it just tells me how to upload a PNG, how to delete the background. It's not helping. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just try again tomorrow. Maybe I'll fix itself overnight. So it was a really easy fix. I uh, just got this beautiful cactus PNG from Google uh, just to make sure it wasn't the cricket. It was Photoshop, and it was, it was Photoshop. So I basically just uh, made a new file in Photoshop, dragged all of my stuff over from here, just like dragged it all over like this, Wee. But better than that. And then back in Cricut, I uh, did exactly the same, and it worked, so I think my Photoshop file must have been corrupted. But it's all working now, so I'm gonna do a little test print, and then we'll print all the stickers out, hopefully. It's Wednesday morning, and I've just been doing some cricketing before work starts, but uh, something happened. What's this? What's happened? I think my, my, um, oh, I think this is like not sticky anymore. It's so sad. 
completely ruined an entire sheet of paper. These, this paper is expensive. Oh well, I might. I mean, it is pretty sticky. I just don't think I stuck it on very well. So I guess I'll try again. So I managed to salvage four just by hand cutting them. And I'll probably stick them out in my bullet journal in a second. But these are. These are them like printed out. This is one of the pages that actually turned out well. And I really love them. They're like so the colour shops so well when it's glossy paper. Um, and this paper is different than the last one I used. It's by Evergreen Goods. Evergreen Goods. So you can see that it's quite like thin and it feels really nice. This is the old paper I used, which is from PPD, and it's a bit more expensive, and I think that's because it's uh, thicker, so you can see like it's a little bit harder to bend there. And I always thought these were a little bit too thick, so I'm actually really happy with the weight of this. So I'm gonna put it on my bullet journal and kind of see how it looks and how it holds up, and then I can decide uh, moving forward it, what sticker paper I like better. So this one just printed. I have literally four minutes to my work meeting. I'm going to see if I can cricket this out before then and hopefully it sticks better this time. I put a little bit of tape on just to double double make sure. I have seen people do this before so I really hope it doesn't mess up with the um, the laser or whatever the cricket does. I don't know, it's like a robot, who knows what it does really. So I thought I'd do a little test between the two sticker papers I was talking about. So this one here is Evergreen Goods and this one is PPD. You can get them both on Amazon. And I basically just peeled them back and while this is a teeny bit thinner, I think the reason this one feels thicker is because the card here is really thick. But the actual sticker themselves I think are very similar. I do think this one is a teeny bit thinner though, so I guess it just really depends what you want to go for. But let's stick them on. And so I stuck them on and they basically feel, this one does feel thicker actually, and this one does feel a little bit thinner. So it just really depends on what you like. I think th these, I've had these for, I've had the sticker paper for about a year and I've stuck things on sketchbooks. Like this is one of them here, um, but I've stuck them on other ones. I've spilled water on them, paint, I've, you know, scraped them. And this paper holds out really well. So I have to do the same with this paper and kind of see. I've got to stop now because I've got to go to work, but printed these out and they all look pretty good. So hopefully I can finish the rest later. I printed them all out and uh, got them in their little packages and I think they look so cute. Um, I also have this box here, which has the birds in it. Um, what else does it have? It has endangered, the endangered animals and a chicken. <laughs> and actually on this, on this packaging, it says endangered at the top there. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see, but it says endangered and there's a little like star, you know, like a little, little star. So, and then, and then at the bottom, you can't see because it's hidden by the, the stickers and it says and a chicken underneath here. <laughs> so that's just a little Easter egg. And I've got my groundhog, groundhog day, and my cats, which are my favorite. So yeah, these are a bit long. It would be nicer if they were short, but I'm just gonna go with it. I haven't seen many sticker packs like this on Etsy, like these long ones. Maybe they'll stick out, who knows? Um, so so yeah, I have, I printed all the plant ones. They're all packaged up, they look really good. Now, I thought I counted, and I'm so annoyed with myself, because I literally spent, I spent like two hours trying to, make sure I had the perfect amount of stickers on so I could print out five pages and it would have enough to make like complete sticker packs. Turns out I didn't count right and I'm missing teacup which is the one in the little teacup here. So I have an entire sticker set here apart from teacup. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> but apart from that stickers going well. Pretty much finished now. <laughs> So I got all my stickers done, I'm really happy apart from that one sticker that I didn't print. Really annoyed about that because now I have like six random stickers that I don't make a pack. But I also have been procrastinating doing my video and I've been swatching out my coloured pencils. So I actually watched um, Emma Carpenter's vlog today at work and she has she had swatched out all of her pencils on a piece of paper like this. And I thought it was a really clever idea so I wanted to do it myself. Feather Castell Polychromos 120 set of pencils and it is lovely. I honestly don't use them 
uh, like I don't I mean look you can tell the ones I've used and which ones I haven't so I really want to get into using them more which is what made me do this so you can see it's all very beautiful until yes I made a mistake so um instead of correcting it I started again <laughs> I literally procrastinated for like a good half an hour um, after work so yeah I got all, all of them swatched out really fun but if you can look at the state of my desk that leads me to the video this week so this week I thought I would do a like a work space tour art desk tour kind of thing like show my all my favorite materials kind of like how I organize things unfortunately nothing is organized right now it is a hot mess so I'm gonna do a little tidy up and then I'm gonna get on with um the video I'm not quite sure what it's gonna turn out like because I've never done one of these videos before I always thought it was kind of people would be bored of just no one cares what you have in your drawers <laughs> but I watch them and I know that they're really popular online so I thought hey why not it might be a fun little video to do something different so that's what um I'm gonna do now hopefully I can get it all done before the sun goes down Martin is cooking dinner in the kitchen right now so I've got the evening free um until dinner's ready really hungry right now we just went for a walk in the nature reserve and I am ready for some dinner so I'm just gonna work until he calls me and then after dinner try and get it finished so it's about it's almost 10 o'clock now and it's taken me way longer than I thought to um, do all of my art supplies and tidy everything up. Uh, but I got everything organised now and I found a few things. So while I was tidying, that made me happy. Uh, and also I, I got some new coloured pencils to play with. So I finally um, updated my pencil cup, which has been has, has the same pencils for like the last five months. And I did it very scientifically. I basically just took like every other one or every, you know, whatever ones looked good. And what I thought I would do when in another like four months or so when these are kind of, you know, a little bit down, I'll just take all of these out and replace them with these and then there we go. <laughs> That's a good technique maybe, I don't know. I mean, let's be honest, I'd love to have all of the colours but my cup is only so big. I guess I could have two cups. Another thing I found while I was tidying was this acrylic wash on the floor behind my desk, Rose, and I completely forgot I had this. It's amazing. It's like Christmas Day. The best thing I found was this notebook. I know, llama notebook, but it gets better. This is my The Thinking Book. And basically, I just write, I write thinking about, and then I write what I'm thinking about. And it's just basically like a notebook. But the thing is, I found a whole bunch of ideas for zines and things that I've had over the last couple of years. And I'll just flip through really quickly because I need just in case, just in case my ideas are pretty bad. But um, I found I found like, ideas for zines. I found uh, 2019 goals, art goals, and career goals. So that was really fun to look at. Um, I found stuff for Etsy. I found like research that I forgot I did. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm glad that I found this little notebook. I forgot I had it. So I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna keep thinking and fill up the thinking book. I am really tired now and grimy so I just kind of want to have a shower and go to bed because I'm like covered in dust everything was so dusty um but I've got it organized and I think tomorrow I'm gonna film the like little tour part during the day maybe at lunchtime or before work if I'm not too tired and then edit and my video should be up tomorrow night so that's what I'm hoping but for now I'm gonna call it a night so I'll see you tomorrow I'm just filming my video for tonight and I've actually made look at the setup I've got my camera here for my down and my camera here for to look at my face. I feel so professional right now. The only problem is I can't tell if this camera is recording or not. <laughs> so I just hope for the best. Art materials, blah, blah, blah. I like them, blah. Looking at my sketchbooks, looking at the camera. I really hope this works because I've been doing this for 10 minutes. And I'm hot and sweaty. Okay, uh, looking at my sketchbooks, looking at the camera, candid, sketchbooks, camera, hi. It's Thursday night, sorry for the horrendous lighting, it is 9.30, I'm in the office and I just finished my vlog and uploaded it. I still have to do my 100 day project, I haven't done any art for like two days because I've just been so tired and I've been making my video for today which I'm really happy I made but at the same time I haven't done anything else so... 
I'm gonna go now and do it. I'm a day behind, so I'm just gonna do yesterday's and then tomorrow I'll do today's and tomorrow's, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's go draw my last fruit or vegetable, whatever it's gonna be. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Come on. Look you off. Beryl, come on. Beryl, get off. I gotta work. Oh, she always does this. What are you gonna do? They just take over your life, don't they? So selfish. Guess I can't paint tonight. Well, I got rid of Beryl. I just popped down a warm ball of fertilizer and she hopped right off. So I've got my art desk back now and I've got my last fruit and vegetable to do. And I think I know what I'm going to do. A lime. I know, it wasn't that exciting, but I am excited because I love citrus fruits. And I've done an orange, I did a blood orange, I did a lemon. So I've got to finish that triptych with a lime for my last fruit. Not my last fruit forever, guys, just my last fruit for now. Okay. I can't, I'm too tired to clean my plate. I know it's only water, but I just, I just don't have the strength to walk to the bathroom. I posted on Instagram a couple of days ago. I was just getting, I'm, I wasn't even, I'm not getting that bored of drawing fruits and vegetables, but I just, I was just looking on my Instagram feed and it was just like, looked like a produce section, you know, at the grocery. So I decided to shake things up a little bit and I did a little poll on Instagram and um, I was really surprised because actually quite a lot of people responded and I'm not used to lots of people responding so that was quite nice so I put up two different uh, things that I kind of felt like painting one of them was plants and one of them was little houses and I was hoping little houses would win because I have been doing organic things for like the last 30 days so it would be nice to do something a little bit more structural and I thought uh, drawing little houses I could kind of make them really stylized and really simplistic and I thought that could be really fun I've forgotten to draw the lime Better draw the lime first. I don't know why I put yellow down because actually I have Literally the right color here 25 people voted for plants and 28 people voted for Houses so houses won by a very close margin. So if you voted, thanks very much. Um, it does, I do like doing things like that because then I think also if people have uh, voted or if they've chosen something or if they've you know, given their opinion and you kind of go through with it, it's almost like you're kind of working almost a little bit together. So I just think it's nice. So yeah, I am a day behind though. So I have to pick things up tomorrow. I don't want to fall too far behind because then we might have you know, a bad situation on our hands, like drawing 12 things in a day kind of situation and I just posted my video on YouTube so I see how that goes and I also did something new tonight which is I kind of took an image from I took my thumbnail and I made that like Instagram size and then I posted that as well onto Instagram to kind of like show that I have a YouTube video out and I've been trying to link my YouTube more to Instagram I actually don't have that many followers on Instagram I have less than 500 I think I think I only have like 400 and something but um you could you never know who is following you on one platform and doesn't know about the other one because you'll be surprised at how many people I follow on Instagram and then I find out they have a YouTube channel and I'm like what that's amazing so I thought I'd just kind of like try and link things up and just get more of a uh I don't know what the word is I'm kind of new at this whole new at this whole social media kind of deal I mean I was on Facebook so late that I was trying to make a joke there but I couldn't think of anything that's a shame I mean I came to Facebook like really late Instagram really late I just installed TikTok on my phone last night and it freaked me out so much that I uninstalled it 30 seconds later so I'm not exactly I'm not exactly like social media savvy I made my first tweet today uh, before that I was making, I do have a Twitter, um, but I have never really tweeted or twittered. What I did is I had an app called If This Then That, and you, you guys probably heard of it. And basically, every time I posted to Instagram, I had it set up that it would post the exact same thing to Twitter. But I stopped doing that because I, um, I realised that people, if they're following you on one thing, they're not going to follow you on... Uh, something else if you're just posting the same thing so I had an idea to kind of like 
uh, posted Twitter but do different stuff and then I just never went on it because to be honest Twitter is kind of scary I don't really understand it um, I went on there this morning and I posted <laughs> I posted a tweet and I said I don't know how to use Twitter but I'm gonna try and then I thought what do I do now I did not know what to do why is my lime so lopsided oh yeah so Twitter so I, I, I basically tried to uh, use it I tried to follow some people I tried to retweet or re even reply but I think I need Martin to give me a little lesson because he uses Twitter all the time and he's always telling me it's really good but I just ignore him but um, I asked him if he can give me a little lesson over the weekend so I think he's gonna he's gonna it's gonna be like when you have to teach your mum how to use um, her phone like when she gets a new phone that's kind of what's gonna be happening <laughs> just so you know after that I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the Twitter I thought maybe it could be good for shop updates or kind of behind the scenes stuff that you wouldn't normally post on Instagram if you want to keep your Instagram like nice and you know nice and fresh and clean and then just have kind of like uh, behind the scenes stuff or I don't really know if you guys use Twitter tell me what you use it for because I'm I'm new to this whole kind of thing Instagram I understand is pictures YouTube I understand is pictures Facebook I never go on it because it's boring but Twitter I would like like to learn how to use it so yeah let me know how you use your Twitter I think sometimes with this acrylic wash you really have to let things dry before you try and work it so right now I have fallen into the trap of keep adding paint and keep trying to see if I can make it better but because it's still wet it's not really sticking Do you know what I mean it's kind of like blending in It's Friday morning, it's about 9.30 and it's bank holiday, yay! Which means no work today, um, long weekend, I'm gonna do lots of stuff. And I've got my sign back there that I forgot and uh, Liz reminded me that I hadn't put it out for ages, so keep, wait, keep making art. Uh, which is my plan today, keep making art. So I've written my to-do list, uh, got some website stuff, bits and bobs, Etsy stuff here. Quite a lot of stuff to do, obviously not going to get it all done this weekend. Because let's be honest, it always takes five times longer to do something than you think it's going to. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try and do this weekend is, because I have quite a lot of stuff and I just wrote it all down to get it all out of my head because I've been thinking about it all the time. There's quite a few little bits that I need to finish up and um, before I start trying to do my website and, or on Etsy, I'm going to try and get, get all these little bits kind of tied up today. So I have, um, I've got to do two 100 day projects today because I am a day late. So I'm going to do two little houses today. And I have to finish an, a piece of artwork that's going to be coming up in a video in a couple of weeks. I have to finish my Skillshare course. And then I have to print, I have to scan a piece of artwork in and try and make it look pretty um, for something else. So just bits and bobs really. I'm not sure how much I'll be on camera today, but I'm sure I'll pop in throughout the day and say hi. I did my first little house. I don't know how I feel about it. It's it's uh very small and there's a lot of paint on there for something so small uh this is all the colors that i used just for this one tiny painting and it actually took me forever and i'm not sure if it's very readable or not but it's my first house and it is tiny so ah, it's kind of cute i kind of like it i'm gonna try and do another one before lunch and then i've got my two 100 day paintings done today barrel Barrel, I'm watching you. Don't you, don't you dare. Barrel, don't you, oh. Barrel. So I finished my second little house. It's very pink. I'll show you the reference. So that's the reference. What a lovely house. And then this one here is the reference from this. So a lot different. Definitely took some creative liberties with these two. But I really like them. They definitely took a lot longer than my fruit. I'd probably, I'd say I spent an hour on each. So even though they're tiny, it did take quite a long time. But yeah, really happy with them. 
so I'll be drawing houses for a while I think until I get bored it is now evening I'm very excited because I have only one more thing left to do on my list it's uh, six o'clock right now so I probably have dinner in about an hour but I'm gonna see maybe if I can get this done I'm not sure um, so far today I've done quite a lot of stuff Beryl's up on the windowsill now Beryl that's where Boris goes I think her and Boris are having a cuddle on the windowsill but she's really too big for the windowsill now I did my sticker photo shoot and I popped all my stickers on Instagram so I kind of like did a whole bunch of different photos to kind of show my products and that's something I want to try and do moving forward maybe once a week depending on how many products I have I don't know but just kind of like show that I have stuff because I know that I've been doing stuff on YouTube and in the background but I don't really post much to Instagram kind of product wise so I thought that might be a good idea to start doing that and yeah that's about it really so so I do have to do some more drawing tonight, but I was just chatting with Liz online and she said she's doing the uh, Emily Harvey Art Draw This In Your Style Mermaid and I don't know if I'm procrastinating, but her mermaid is pretty cool. It's like all neon and pretty. I was thinking maybe giving that a go, just seeing if I like it, seeing how it turns out and if it does, I'll post it and if not, I won't. But I'm not quite sure if that's procrastination just because I don't want to like do study work. So if it is, I'm being pretty naughty. But yeah, I've had a super productive day. Literally, I've been working since the morning. Morning, I hate that word. I can't say it. I have been working since I woke up until now. That's all I've been doing. It's been pretty fun. So I'm gonna go now because otherwise I'm just gonna keep rambling about how awesome I am. Can you believe that when we moved in here about three years ago, Beryl here was as big as baby Boris and she used to sit on the windowsill? But now she's too big for the windowsill. Beryl, get off. What are you doing? They just grow up so fast. It's 3.41 p.m. Saturday. I've spent all morning and afternoon doing my website and I just had to take a break because I was getting very frustrated. Things weren't working. I just wasn't liking it or enjoying it. So I took a break. And I will share what I've got uh, so far on my website before I finish the vlog this weekend. I almost said vlog because I've been working on my blog page before I finish the vlog this weekend. Uh, just to like kind of show you it's not really that far ahead I mean I've done a lot of work on it but it doesn't have any like content in it's all just template right now but uh, yeah I just need to take a break so I think I'm just gonna sit at my desk while it's still lovely out and uh, do some drawing there's about it's about 14 children outside on the lawn uh, I mean I'm exaggerating there's three teenagers and a baby but still they sound like there's 14 children out there right outside right outside my window because we have like a communal like front lawn I guess because I live in a big apartment block uh, so yeah I'm gonna do some drawing and chill out and then maybe get back to my website later when I've just calmed down a bit because I'll tell you I'll tell you what, I was ready to throw my computer out the window it is quite late now Saturday night I was just working on this uh, mermaid for um, Emily Harvey's draw this in your style and I do want to get it done this weekend because I've spent a lot, of, well, I haven't spent that much time on it, but I've been messing around with it. This was the sketch I did, so I quite like it as a sketch, but I always like sketches. It's when you start polishing things up that they get crap. So I polished it up into this, and I gave her, like, tiny boobs because I thought that would be cute because, I don't know, mermaids, the whole, like, mermaid thing, you know, like, beautiful busty woman with the fish's tail I don't know it's always kind of like not really appealed to me so I thought I would put uh, tiny little boobs on her I thought that'd be kind of fun and give her some jellyfish friends they probably won't look like this but uh, and then I thought I'd go a little bit crazy and see if I can actually because the prompt was neon I thought what if I turned it into a neon sign whoa <laughs> It didn't really work as expected. It is quite cool though, but she does look very evil. 
but yeah i do like this i think it's a fun little experiment um i spent ages doing like all the different layers so basically i just layered her up different blurs and then white on top as like i guess it's meant to be the inside of the neon tube um and added some like little lights and stuff but yeah her eyes are a little bit evil so i probably won't go for that but i might work on this sketch a little bit longer and then just colour it in, see see how it turns out. It's Sunday, it's Sunday morning now and I'm in the office probably where I'm going to be for the entirety of the day. Enti entirety, that's a fun word. And yesterday I was in here all day as well working on my website. Today I was meant to work all day on Etsy stuff but um, I just hopped onto my website and there's a couple of little things I want to change, try and change before I'm finished with it just to get like the template stuff done and then I'm gonna hop on over to Etsy stuff and try and print out my prints which I have been dreading and I have been putting off for months, <laughs> weeks if not months because my printer isn't like my best friend and I just print tests and waste an ink and it's just a nightmare. If any of you guys print from home you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, I'm just going to quickly show you what I've been working on with my website and then I'm going to pop off to do some Etsy stuff. So a couple of vlogs ago I showed you my design and I basically just popped this into Webflow using exactly the same templates. So these will be uh, illustrations, hopefully at some point this will be a photo maybe and then illustrations. So kind of all these grey boxes and stuff will be filled up with things. But I'll show you quickly how Webflow works. This is probably very boring if you guys aren't into web design, but I'll just, just in case, I'll just show you quickly. So you have all these folders down here and uh, it gets super confusing sometimes to do stuff. They're all like nested and they all have different functions and you kind of like build things. And then you have all of this crazy stuff on the right here to change everything. It has taken a lot of work just because I'm not like a website builder. But I'll show you quickly what it looks like in preview mode. Big screen, and then if you go down, you can change these. So you can see this is an iPad, this is a mobile phone, this is a really skinny mobile phone. I have been making this projects page, which is gonna, it's just a template right now. So you can click on these different projects, which will take you to a pro the project page itself. This is the blog that I was trying to work on, and I'm not really happy with the layout right now. I kind of need to I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because when you go down to this one, it's really messy. Um, so you have to kind of keep thinking about uh, the different sizes, the different screens that you're going to be using on. So it gets a little bit messy. But yeah, this is kind of the blog that I'm thinking of doing. And when you click on it, it takes you to nothing because it's not set up yet. And then I want to have a freebies page and a contact page, which I haven't done yet. But I think I've had enough of websites been spending all morning on my Cricut machine and then I finally get to this page of stickers and it's completely screwed up. It's printed wrong. And so I did a test print with the same shapes but just coloured in grey and it printed out perfectly. So I printed it out again on the sticker paper and it's done it again. So I think maybe the image is, the file is corrupted or something. I'm so annoyed because I don't have any spare um, the sticker paper left. And this is my little space girl. So I'm making a few individual stickers today and she's one of them. And I'm just going to sell them individually. I think they're quite cute. <sighs> Not like this though. So I did a little test with some paper and it looks like it worked. It looks like it worked okay. And I've also got my new Cricut mat. I just It's very sticky this one because it was um, being a bit weird when I was cutting the pages out. This is my last piece of sticker paper. I have gone through like 12 sheets today, so I hope this works. No! Why does it keep doing this? Well, that didn't work. I don't understand. Give me my piece of paper back. I don't understand why it's not working on this one. It just worked a minute ago on the black and white one. I'm so confused. I just came back in the uh, my art desk room and look at poor little Felix. Look how wilty he is. 
I turned him around this morning because he was leaning against the window and sometimes when you're leaning him the other way his branches or whatever they're called arms uh, go stand up straight up but I think he may be just a bit thirsty so I'm just gonna give him some water oops can I give him some water now I know that cactuses cacti live in the desert but I do water these about every two weeks and I give them a little spray as well my succulent and my cactuses and I also have cacti food and succulent food that I give them like in the water but I don't know if I'm the best plant mum because I think these need to be repotted so you see Felix here anyone who knows anything about cactuses let me know does he need to be repotted just give him a bit more water Beryl Beryl I'll feed you later Beryl I think Beryl's thirsty too so yeah, let me know if you know anything about cactuses. I think maybe he just needs a bigger pot so his roots can go bigger and maybe that will support him more. But, fed all my plants for the day, so that's good. Just gonna take a break from the uh, office now, I think, until tomorrow when I have to get back to work because I've been in there all weekend and I honestly just feel like I've been working all weekend. So I'm gonna have a break. I'm actually really frustrated and annoyed about those stickers. I salvaged one, I just cut it by hand and all the rest were ruined and what makes me angry is that they are literally squares like i could have just cut that by hand and not wasted three sheets of sticker paper so i don't have any more sticker paper left the most annoying thing is this was the last one. <laughs> oh well i've printed um let's see i think i made 13 new stickers so i already had them all ready to go all i had to do is upload them to the cricket and then print them all out so that's literally what i've done all day and I know I said I was going to do some prints, but I did have a look in between when the cricket was doing its thing. And the thing is, I actually don't have any prints. The only ones I have are these two, which is the daffodil one that I painted, and Belle, which is the, from October. And then I do have a big list of lots of like other illustrations kind of from my sketchbook or other digital things that I've been doing that I thought might be nice as little postcards but I'm not going to do that here one because I don't have my printer I don't think will take paper thick enough postcards and also it just seems like a lot of work to do that a lot of like ink a lot of time so what I'm thinking of doing is getting postcards printed from mood.com and I did have a look earlier at the prices and right now you can get 50 postcards for 26 pounds or something like that which works out as 54p a postcard and then I thought I could even sell them individually or in packs so like a sketchbook pack where it's just kind of my favorite pages from a sketchbook or maybe I can do like some of my favorite pieces of fruit that I did over the last month and do like a little fruit pack something like that so that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing but that is for next week and I thought what I can do in between other things is scan my artwork in, upload it, resize it and everything, and then try and get it printed in Moo. And I also have to do the design for the back of the postcard. So that is my idea that I had. I do have a lot of postcards uh, behind me hanging up and I love collecting postcards from different artists because they're a piece of art and they're cheap. So you're not paying like 20 pound or something for an A4 print. You can just get a little A6 postcard. They're sturdy, they last a long time and they look great. So that is my plan. Let me know what you guys think of postcards. Um, if you collect them or if you send them to people. I never send them to people. I always keep them for myself. And then these two here that I mentioned earlier. I've already done print tests on these. So these are all ready to go. I just checked the Photoshop files. So they're literally ready to print. I'm not sure what's going to sell. So even the stickers that I made today. I made like 13 different stickers for individual, like individual stickers. So they're quite big. Like they're kind of like this size and a bit bigger. So I thought they'd be quite nice, but I've only made maybe like eight of each and then whatever doesn't sell, I'll just uh, use as freebies, I guess, later down the line. Um, one other thing that has been on my mind for the last 15 minutes or so, it's been popping up every now and then, it's Animal Crossing. And I don't want to talk about it too much because everyone's talking about it and that's like the thing. Everyone, literally everyone's going on about it and I have said, no, I'm not going to buy it. It doesn't look... Like, it doesn't seem to have a game that I would be interested in. I mean, that's kind of a lie it does, because it does look kind of cute and stuff. But it seems like it's a lot of work, and it would take me away from actually doing work. But at the same time, everyone's playing it, and I kind of want to have a go myself. But then I'm like, no, April, don't do it. 
so I'm kind of having like an internal war with myself and I'll think about it and then I even watched a review just now and saw some gameplay and then I will get busy doing something else and forget about it and then when I'm like bored again or tired or just spent like five hours printing stickers I think maybe I should get Animal Crossing I'm not gonna do it or will I? So it's a bit about an hour since I last spoke to you and I downloaded it. I mean I brought it and then I downloaded it. Animal Crossing. This is Martin's Switch. I got it for him for his birthday a couple of years ago but uh, he's not using it right now. He's in the office yelling at someone while they're playing computer games about, I don't know, shoot, shooting people or something, I don't know. But I thought I'd have a quick go on this. Don't know what it's gonna be like, but first I'll just show you what I've been up to with my mermaid. So I've basically just like filled in all the base. Beryl, what have you done? She's bloody walked over my art again. Beryl, you always do this. This hope has expensive. <sighs> I would say don't have pets, but I just love her so much. She's such a pain sometimes though. I cleaned it all up, don't worry. I just brushed off. I got an, I got a screen protector on my iPad, so it's fine. But this is, gosh, it's hard to see. I know that the prompt was neon, but jeez, that's crazy. Look how shiny it is. I haven't finished yet. I'm just doing the base layers. Got to do all the detail, the shadows. I want to make things neon. I want to make things in the background. But yeah, really life, loving it so far. I think it's super cute. Put Beryl on a timeout next to the bin. Beryl, think about what you've done. And now I think it's time to stop messing around, stop playing around and go do some work because I've heard Animal Crossing is a lot of work. So let's see if, let's see what all the hype is about. Okay, so how lucky am I? My friend just sent me this picture of cupcakes that she made and asked if she wants me to bring some round because do you remember last week I did had a tidy out of my art desk and stuff? I found a whole bunch of art supplies that I'm just not using anymore. Like pastels, pencils, these canvas boards and paint and stuff. So my friend is, she's been drawing now for a few months and I thought maybe she would like to give these a go. So we're going to do a little swap art supplies for cupcakes. Sounds like a good deal to me. So Leah just popped around with these amazing cupcakes look how beautiful they are coffee and walnut but um martin's allergic to nuts so i have to eat all four by myself oh no So it's Monday now and the vlog finished very abruptly last night with some cupcakes. Uh, they were delicious, I just had one for 11 Z's. I ended up eating a cupcake and then playing Animal Crossing for about an hour, a couple of hours and just finishing off my mermaid really, so that's what I did last night. And so now it's Monday, time to uh, send the vlog out into the universe. And I'm really happy how the mermaid turned out for Emily Harvey's uh, Draw This In Your Style Challenge. I think it's super it super fun, really glowy, the jellyfish are like super cute, so I'm really happy with it. And I did check out the hashtag and there's a few on there right now, there's some really lovely ones, so go check that one out. It, I'm not, I can't remember the hashtag but I'll leave it in the description. And let us know if you've also taken part in the challenge because it'll be cool to see everyone's mermaids. So that is it for the vlog this week, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you have a lovely week ahead of you. I do have a video coming out on Thursday. It's actually gonna be a collaboration, so make sure you check back for that one because it should be super fun and 
so that is all for now uh, goodbye from me and from Beryl and we will see you next week thanks for watching bye